Yo, what is up, everyone? Um, real quick, if we sound weird, we're trying new mics and headsets out. So yeah. we'll see how they sound. But uh, let us know if they sound good, sound bad. Um, but yeah, we're super pumped. We're going to do Lorcana playtesting for the first time. So uh, this game releases on the 18th. Sounds clear. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and we're super pumped. We're going to do a learn to play session on the 19th at 4 p.m. So if anyone is around in the area and wants to come down and pick up their starter, starter deck or their troves, we're all sold out of boxes right now, but we still have starter decks and troves and gift bundles. Correct. So come down and learn to play. I, I actually need to count the starter decks that are pre-sold and see where we're at because yeah, there's people a, keep writing yeah. one of each, and I need to see how many are how many are there, but I believe we still have a few. You want to roll? High roll? Sure. <laughs> Look who's cheating now. No. Um, you want to explain the mulligan rule, Taryn? Yeah, we're... so in this game, as far as I understand it, let me get down to the future match. Um, you draw your seven, and then you pick a certain number of them that you want to go back on the bottom. So with this hand, I think we want this on the bottom. Not on the bottom, sorry, that are going to go back into the deck. Um, we kind of need inkables. I think I'm gonna keep the Mickey. Actually, since I have uh, this specifically, I'm gonna keep it like this. So I can go hopefully two into Bell, and I'll put these two on the bottom. I just want to draw more inkables. I'm gonna put two on the bottom just because I want yeah. more early early turn plays. Oh, sorry, you draw first and then shuffle. My bad. Right. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Draw, uh, okay. Then so shuffle good. the remaining. Yep. Cuts. You're good. And then um, I'm going to, I'll go first. I'm going to ink a Maui. So you have to reveal what it is so you can show that it is inkable. And then you turn it face down and it's that's done. Um, and then I'm going to develop my brain. So look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one into your hand and the other on the bottom. Yeah, you need to develop your brain. Yeah, I do. That was a good um That was a good one. So we're gonna hand that, bottom that. Okay, go ahead. Alright. Draw. Um don't need this in hand because I have this. Amethyst Ruby controls your jam. Oh, that's the um, red and purple. Yeah, uh, that one. That list actually looks really cool. I've or I've seen decks like that. All right, uh, just inking and passing. So we're gonna untap draw. I, I did reveal right Fishbone Quill. You, I saw. You didn't say it, but I kind of saw what it was. Yeah. Um. We are. No, oh, this, this is a little tough. We're going to ink, um, ink an Aladdin. Okay. And then we're going to play a Grandma Tala. Pass. Grandma Tala is, um, when this character is banished, you may put this card uh, in your ink well, face down, and exert it. So it's a, a little bit of a ramp creature. And you can smash. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to one jump ahead. Sure. So one jump has put the top card of my deck into my ink while face down. Go. That was a, another really good draw. Um, so we're going to ink a Shield of Virtue. Yeah, the cards are seemingly the same size. And we are using some proxies, by the way. We have some yeah. of the cards because we got a couple boxes at Gen Con. Um, and then the rest are just proxying. Uh, Mickey. So Mickey says get a clue when this creature... A character comes into play, um, put the top card into your inkwell, face down, and exerted. So there's that. And I'm going to get one lore counter. Yep. All right. This is a pretty good start for my deck. I'm going to ink another smash. Okay. Smash isn't great in this matchup. I'm going to play a bell. Nice. And then... He's going to play a second. Go ahead and... So, I have three inkables I could do here. Mm. 
I think I want these two together for sure. I think that's my next turn, most likely, is to do both of these. Uh, so I think I'm going to ink this Robin Hood. Yeah, Vizos, okay. so there are no um, callers in your ink. Once you make it an ink, it can cast any card in your deck. Yep. But then the deck boating restriction is that your deck can only contain two different colors of ink. Correct. So if you ever see someone play a third color of ink against you, call a, a judge, if that's what they're going to be called. We're going to ink a Robin Hood. Um, we'll banish Bell to not, your inkwell. Not banish. Sorry. What's it called then? Let's just let it go. It just gets put into the inkwell. I said we'll banish. Yeah. Banish is the term for dying. My bad. For going to the discard We'll pile. get two lore. Go ahead. Pass. All right. Untap. It, Bell gives him really good value on ink. He got to play a second card to ink and then put Bell into ink, uh, which is unfortunate for me. But at the same time, I also can't let Bell go unchecked. I'm going to ink Aurora. Okay. I'm going to play Fishbone Quill. Fishbone Quill's a really good card. Let's lets you play any card out of your hand as an ink. And even if it's not able to be an ink. Oh, he's got the Beast Mirror too. Play a Beast Mirror. So it turns oh. all of your all of your late game low mana cost or bad cards into inks for you, yeah. which is really good. Yeah, Fishbone goes pretty crazy. Interesting. So um we're going to one jump ahead, which puts this into my inkwell face down. And then we're going to Mickey. Yeah, there's basically no interaction at all in your opponent's turn. There are a few, like, triggered abilities that can happen, like, when your characters yes. get challenged, but that's it. All right. This is where this deck gets crazy. Uh, I'm going to fishbone uh, this. Don't, and... don't have to reveal it, but. And we're going to do whole, it. Whole new world. All right, so five mana, discard my hand. I do, I do have to point out that this is an actual real Maleficent. I pulled yeah. in my box, foil. Kyle's box Beautiful. is insane. You got a foil Maleficent a foil. and a regular Maleficent and a foil Mickey, and Brave a, Little Taylor, and a regular Mickey, Brave Little Taylor. And an enchanted Simba. And an enchanted Simba. enchanted Simba. Insane. Three. Guy's a gamer. Honestly... It was well deserved after the yeah, you took, smacking you that I took on took Commander Masters. Beating. All right, what do we want to do now? I have four. This is gone. Um, four. I can probably just play two things. Yeah. Play Aurora. So there are no sideboards right now. There's really no competitive rules right now from what I understand. Oh, um, I, I saw my land drop too. Or my ink drop. All right, so. So yeah. we're, um, I, I'll, I'll be excited to see what they are, but I have felt that sideboarding could be necessary. Sorry. There are cards, go ahead. Let me back up. There are cards in this matchup that are not good. I've, I forgot I could do my, I still had my like ink for turn. So I'm going to ink and then tap three instead of two and play a Mickey and get that top one. Good. So that's what these blue decks do is you just get a bunch of ink out right away. So I have 11 ink. Okay. We're going to ink a Shield of Virtue. I have eight. Starter decks aren't super competitive, but they are a very good starting point. They come with a lot of staples like... The blue starter deck gives you like two or three Mickeys and like two one jump aheads and an Aurora, which is a good, uh, good one, uh, and a few other. You know, I think it gives you Gramatalas. That's just the two. I think it gives you a Let It Go or two. I'm not sure. Gives you like Smashes, Fire the Cannons, which we'll are grab all, three all gonna be staples. Lore counters. And then we're going to jam... Yeah, I'm really starting to fall behind on board here. We're going to jam Brave Little Taylor. Ooh, I got to deal with that. Pass. All right, untap 11 inks and a fishbone. So really I have 12 possibly. That's a good card. Honestly, though, too, the, the game feels very fun. And, I'm going to uh, ink a Tinkerbell. Sure. And decently simple to play, too. 
going to activate fishbone quill. So now I should have 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep. Uh, so, 1, 2, 7. I'm going to Hades. Get that. I think it's my inkwell, right? Yep. And then I'm going to Tinkerbell. Deal 1 to everything. So, Gramatala goes to your inkwell. These both get 1 damage. And then I'll kill one with this, Aurora. I'm kind of running straight into a be prepared here. So maybe not the best move. And, and then I'll quest. One. Um, but we got good good long game if it is a be prepared, so. With, because of this beast mirror. Yeah. We'll grab our lore counter. And we have not played our ink yet. Um, we're going to ink Maui, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Be prepared. Banish all characters. So I was actually very glad that he, hold on, Darren, I'm not done. <laughs> Go ahead. Bell. Yep. And we're going to ink seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Um, we printed the proxies at dreamborn.ink. We're going to ink a Donald. Can you win out of Pass. nowhere from zero ink? No. Almost certainly not. Uh, this is kind of brutal. Oh, I guess not. Um, I'm going to let it go. Well, you picked up your cards. I thought you were going to like play a counter spell or something. <laughs> All right, I'm going activate, to activate Fishbone. That one, and I'm gonna activate Beast Mirror. This card is a monster. Draw, I'm gonna play Bell. Go. Uh, Bell, this one's really cool. Very, very good card. This is a legendary. Two strength, four willpower. Read a book. During your turn, you may put an additional card from your hand into your inkwell. So it's like Dryad, where it gives you extra land drops. Uh, while you have 10 or more cards in your inkwell, this character gets plus four lore. So this can quest for five now, but it's dead. <laughs> And you got your own bell. Okay. Untap. Draw. Um, I'm going to smash bell. Is that two? Three. Three. I'm going to activate the mirror. Yep. This is where Taryn just gets to draw cards. Bell. Sure. But this is where he's still running. I've got two cards in hand. And, um, yeah. Try out of the bell grove. Five, six, and seven. We're going to play our own Hades. Banish bell to your ink well. And then we're going to quest for uh, seven. seven. Pass. Not looking good, bro. That's pretty. That's a good draw. Um. So he's got a banished spell. <laughs> Maleficent. With that was a let it go, right? Let it go. Yeah. Activate Beast Mirror. Draw a card. I'm gonna play Develop Your Brain. This card is just slate of hand, guys. It's like probably my favorite card to cast. What's up, Skunky? How's it going? I agree. Some dapper gentleman. I'm going to take that one and play it. Which one is it? Grab your swords. What's it do? Deal two to everything. So Bell is banished, yep. and Hades will have two damage. All right, go so ahead. A whole new world is is actually what I was not wanting right there, just because... That wasn't a whole new world. I know. Oh. That's what I was saying I didn't want you to get. Oh, yeah. Because my hand was decent, I didn't want to... Didn't want to see you play it. Um, we'll go each. seven, and we're going to go ahead and just run out of Hades um, just to keep the pressure on. And then we're going to go five and run out a Maui. And then this is my hand. And then we're going to go ahead and get two more pass. All right. I think I die here. So by playing Hades, even though it's a removal spell, I'm just keeping the pressure on. 
um, making another lethal. So that's one damage to each. Yeah. Activate he has to remove both of them to not lose. Oh, it's so good, but probably not enough. Yep, and that's another reason why I was running everything out because otherwise I just discard it. Yeah. Whole new world, we both discard and draw seven. Yeah, that's that's really good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ink activate fishbone quill. So now I have three. His deck is good, no doubt. And I can uh I can smash this one, but then I'm dead. So GG's. Yep. So one thing I'm always kind of looking at with my opening hand is inkables, things that I don't mind uh inking early on, and then also early game plays, which I do not have a lot of. So some of these are inkable, um, but we are we're gonna throw back um four. And hopefully get some... I got some inkables, but hopefully get some early game plays. All right, for me... Three. Um, and we did just that. These here are great. Actually, I'm going to try not doing a whole new world. Because a lot of times against other ramp-based blue decks... Yep. Um, that are empty in their hands. It really backfires on you a lot. I'm going first, though, so maybe it's worth. But I kind of want to... I just want to rely on the Beast Mirror more than anything. So I think I'll, I'm cool to put back like all of these cuts if you want. Because I really want like Bell and Fishbone Quill. Sorry, yeah. I keep doing this. Put on the bottom, draw, and then shuffle. You, you get one mulligan, but you get a pick. It's a selective mulligan where you put back the cards you don't want. Yep. Which uh, is much much more powerful than you know just a random mulligan of where you just either put it back and get a whole new seven or whatever. But yeah, only one mulligan. But the hands are very smooth because like over half the cards are just like also inkables. Yeah. Right. So I mean your random mulligan would be pitching all seven of your cards yeah. and drawing seven again. Alright, I'm gonna develop my brain. Sure. Uh these two. I think I'm interested in this one down the bottom. Go ahead. We're going to ink a Robin Hood and we're going to develop our brain. Yep. Go ahead. And bottom. All right. I'm going to ink a Robin Hood and I'm going to play the Beast Mirror. Go. Uh, if I didn't read this card earlier, but this card is nuts. You can pay three and tap it. If you have no cards in your hand, draw a card. Ink a shield. So it's just pure gas. Uh, one jump on. ahead. Go. Yeah. At least in these grindy control matchups. I'm going to ink a smash. And I'm going to play a Mickey. Yep. Trigger. When Mickey enters, you put the top card of your ink of your deck into your ink wall face Ink down. a Maui. And we're going to do our own Mickey. Go. Oh, sometimes two of these can even be crazy, but I don't think we're ramping that hard. Um, I'm just going to ink it and play this Aurora. Nice. That's the big Aurora, right? The yep. ward one? Gives my other stuff ward. Yep. Uh, quest. So, that, yeah, this Aurora can shift for three onto the another Aurora. So instead of paying the five, you pay three. Um. Mickey. Then you attach it to another Aurora, but it gives all of your other characters ward, which is just like hexproof. And we'll quest. I think it was that one, it was the one I didn't play, but we'll quest for one. All right. Um. Play Bell. Bell lets you make an additional ink per turn. Bell is a very good card. And I'm going to play... I'm going to ink two cards. Uh, I'm going to ink a Tinkerbell and another Bell. One card in hand? Yep. Go. 
He didn't attack because it ramps me with Grandma Todd. Oh, wait. Are you going sorry. through, though? I should have hit your Mickey Mouse. Okay. I guess so, that's kind of dumb because that gets beat by a Maui pretty easy. Yeah, that's all right. I'll attack that and I'll quest. Okay. So this one's banished? Yeah. And you got your quest? Yep. I was actually surprised. I, I thought maybe he was keeping me off ramp. He was doing it for a reason. Well, I, I can't attack that. You didn't quest. No, no, no. I get to... I get to oh, attack and yeah, 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 yeah. But you got to build up floor counters at some point. Um, so. There's no way to block your opponent getting the quest counters, but you just challenge them the following turn. Then when you, the only time your creatures can challenge is when a creature is exerted, a character. Sorry. Ink Robin. So Hood. like my bell can't be challenged right now because it's it's not exerted or un, it's untapped, um, or it's ready. Is the word they use. So we got to banish that. Let it go. Stop and saying then, banish. Sorry. Um, so that's five. Attacking. Yep. Go. All right. Oh, not what I wanted to draw. Whatever. Um, Robin Hood. Nice. Draw. Robin Hood uh, draws one of ETBs if I have less cards than my opponent, which I have one, he has three. I will... It's kind of not going the way I want it to. Uh, I'm just going to ink an Aurora. And then I'll... That's only nine, so Bell only quests for one right now. I don't really want to expose it to a possible Maui, but I will quest for one. One card in hand. Yep. There are a few effects that say, like, Eight. your opponent can't quest next turn or something. But you can also remove lore counters. There's a way. Yeah, and then there's a few things that... <laughs> yeah, the I stack. just stack them like lands. Yeah. I'm just used to keeping a neat board. You I know, can't stop play... saying the terminology of magic to, like, tapping and... But it is what it is. Did I ink everybody? I don't, know. I don't think you did. I don't think I did, but I, I can't remember if I did. Um, we're going to ink a Donald. And probably run right into a removal, but we're going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're just going to go with the Mickey. And we're going to go ahead and uh, quest for one. My turn? Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to... So this is another mechanic, guys. This is called singing a song. So some actions are also songs. So like Let It Go is a five-cost song. So I can either pay five or I can tap a character that's ready. So Or that a, a character that's you know been in play for a turn. Um, I can tap it to sing the song. And it has to have cost of five or more, because this one's cost is five. So it sings, let it go. So I went into your inkwell. And now I'm going to cast a whole new world. Yeah, so he gets pretty good value out of that. I have to discard two and then draw seven. He just gets to draw seven. So that's what my hand was getting very high on ink cost. And that is not what I want. Yeah. And now I can make two drops and play something here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Aurora and Beast Mirror, and then I'm gonna play uh, Tinkerbell for six. Oh, well, do I really wanna extend into, I keep kinda doing that. It's fine, I got Beast Mirror going. Six, so that takes one. And then I'm gonna quest for six. Yeah, boy. Because uh, Bell quest for f uh, five, they quest for four additional. Yeah, Bell is messed up. I have. And Mike said, "Is this the way you guys are inking and tapping flip cards? Really, how it's done, or is it shortcutting?" Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure inking what you and mean, tapping. but but yeah, you ink them and then tap them. Yeah, to you you like them. you reveal them, flip it over for the ink, and then that's your 
your you know mana in this game. That's how you cast your spells. Um, we're gonna ink Maui. We're gonna go ahead and get a lore counter. Yep. Here comes the board wipe. Be prepared. Yeah, I should probably be playing around those a little better. But you gotta think I got one if you a whole new world. Like, yeah, but I also got um, stuff to do and. And then I unfortunately can't follow up. Pass. Damn. Would have been nice to be able to use my other four inks right there. A bell. Anything like that would have been great. All right, well, I will Aurora. I'm going to play a three-mana Tinkerbell. Okay. And I'm going to one jump ahead. Yep. And I'll pass. Twelve. Uh, no, you, any anything that like taps just like magic, you can't exert it um, if it just entered. And then I think rush. Let me read this Maui. Rush might be only challenging. Yeah, rush says this character can challenge the turn it enters, so it still can't like quest or anything else or sing a song. It can only challenge. We're gonna do Aladdin, and then we're gonna do a Mickey. Okay. Um. And then I can still ink if I choose to, but I am not going to ink anything else. All right. I'm going to... Um, I'll draw. So Tinkerbell has another um, ability. Tap, draw, and discard. So it's just, it loots. I'm going to tap, draw, discard this one jump ahead, and then I'm going to Hades. Which one you... Aladdin. Aladdin. And then I'm going to play... I started uh, to ask, and then I looked down and saw the two creatures. I was like, yeah, Aladdin. <laughs> Which, um, yeah, play Mickey Mouse, get the ETB, and then I'll quest for two. <sighs> quest for one. And we're going to be prepared. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Banish all creatures. Oh. Um, you got six. Uh, that's kind of rough. Grandma Tala. <laughs> Go. I'm going to develop my brain. Sure. And he does have a beast mirror over there. I can't see it because of the glare, but... Take this one. Actually... That's fine. Uh, guy, honestly, this game is a blast. I've been, we've yeah. been playtesting. You can tell we've kind of been playtesting and and learning, like trying to figure it out. And we may not be perfect at it for sure, but um, we're having a lot of fun playing it. I'm just gonna play both my guys, and that goes away. But that's where you wanted it, anyways, I guess. Yeah. Three. Uh, do I have enough? No. One short of activating the mirror. So this game, I have not been able to activate the mirror like at all, which typically doesn't happen. But sometimes that happens when you end up whole new worlding. And I also was just kind of stuck holding those Hades in hand. Um, really, this card is nuts when you have Fishbone Quill. So you can just keep getting rid of clunky cards out of your hand and keep putting them into your inkwell and just keep drawing. Oh, God. Seven and seven. We're just going to Hades and Hades. Wow. Um, Go. I know we're giving him angst, but at the same time, like, I have to start putting some pressure on and make him answer my board state. Grab your swords. No, they just both take two. And that lets me activate the mirror. <laughs> oh, new world. Dang. Mickey and Maleficent. And see, this is why I probably should have went ahead and inked the Mickey last turn. Seven. Um, that was a better a better seven for us. I'm gonna play the smash like this, and I'm gonna play a fishbone quill, and then I'm gonna activate fishbone quill and ink this one. Go. We have an unfathomable, unfathomable, unfathomable. That still wasn't right. Amount of ink. So much ink. 
All right, we're just going to ink this Grandma Tala instead of playing it. Um, eight for Mickey. And then we're going to go four for a bell. Um, we are, how many cards do you have in hand? Four. Four. So I could make another ink if I wanted to. Doesn't really help right this second. Um, we're going to one jump ahead. Comes in inked. And then actually, I think I am going to go ahead and ink, um, ink a Donald. So. Uh, and then we're going to go in for two, or for four total, okay. two each. Go ahead. All right. How much ink do I have? You have One, 11. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, 14, sorry. 15, 16, ink, 17. not 17. We got 17 inks. That is uh, fine. Oh, I wish I had a Tinkerbell. So we have a heck of a board state over here that has to be answered. All right, so I'll do my best. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. You're at eight. Okay. Five. Um, grab your swords. So we'll deal two to everything. So these go to four, four, two, and two. And then th these are brutal. But I think I have to... You got another one? I wish. That would be nuts. How many of you played this game? Two? Two. I think I only run two, which I think I need to go back up to three. Or four. I'm going to smash. So that's going to banish it? Yeah. Uh, and then how much do I got? One, two. I'm trying three, to keep four, the terminology six, right. Seven, eight, <laughs> nine. So I have nine left. So I can play Robin Hood. I have three. Yeah, I have two. Okay. Yeah, these games are going long. Um, these are definitely both of these decks are like ramp decks a little bit, and they're slugfest. That's good. Play a Mickey Mouse. So get your. Go ahead. I'm about uh, to take a lot of damage. Yeah. So that's eight, and now to put him at sixteen. Put you at sixteen. Yeah, well, sorry. Uh, draw. That's not bad. Um, okay. Four. So that's eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, boy. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We'll try to yeah. have a better tool for pulling up the cards digitally, like, so you guys can see them better. Um, I just didn't get that ready for this. So we're going to go eight for another Mickey. Ugh. And then we're going to go nine for Maleficent. Oh, my God. And we're going to go ahead and, yeah. And we're going to get in for... Yeah. This is where this deck's top end is just so strong. Especially when I keep fueling him with whole new worlds. Yeah, and, and the reason I, I know his deck, because we've been playing, and I know he's not running any like major board wipes like I am. So yeah. I know that running all of this out just means that he has to answer every single one of these now. What did it, did it not go up? I just looked over and I'm still at eight lore. I have to kill it and refresh. Sorry about that, everybody. We'll get my lore updated. Yeah. Um, Kyle's at 16. But yeah, I, I, I'm at 16 lore, which means that either Mickey's lethal and then any combination of other two characters is lethal. So he has to answer pretty much everything. All right, I'm going to play a tank. Everything takes one. Takes one. So these go to five. Yeah. Hopefully I can find. This goes to three. Another tank, maybe. And that has evasive, too, so I can't even challenge it. Right. I'm going to ink an Aurora. I'm going to play a whole new world. Yep. Discarding two removal spells. Uh, I'm going to uh, develop my brain. We picked up some, some pretty good cards. Definitely happy with that. A whole new world. Yeah, I uh, cannot get there. GG's. GG's. I drew, like, a let it go. Um, really, I needed some, like, 
bow. Really, I need another grab your swords there, but I don't uh, have one. So I think I think my deck's only on two right now, which I, I think it should probably be three or four. <laughs> 